What's going on guys? This is the uh, start of a video series on regular expressions. So this will be the first video and this I plan to cover a lot of the different uh, methods and the faculties of uh, regular expressions. All right, so first thing I want to start off is um, for those who don't know what regular expressions are, regular expressions are used to match uh, string patterns. There's a built-in string module with Python, but regular expressions are a lot more powerful. You could pull up almost any string pattern with regular expressions, but sometimes regular expressions can get really complicated. They may seem intimidating. So re regular expressions, when you first look at it, seem very intimidating with all the symbols, but it's actually not that bad once you get the hang of it. So I plan to uh, introduce you to some of the expressions and then um, We'll get into some of the more intermediate and advanced stuff. But uh, I, I plan to break it down so you guys are not intimidated anymore by regular expressions. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I want to start off is with the whole backslash character that most people find confusing. So in Python, uh, we use backslash to indicate special characters. So when you have a backslash n, um, this denotes a new line. When you have backslash t, that denotes a tab. So backslash is used to uh, denote a special character, depending what follows the backslash. So backslash n, instead of this being two different characters, this is actually a one character, new line. So this is actually considered one character. So regular expressions, or Python, uses something called R, which uh, turns the expression into a raw expression. So in a raw expression, a raw string expression, just uh, avoids all Python special characters. So when you see R preceding a string, it usually means it's converting the string into a raw string. And in this case, this new line, which is supposed to be one character, becomes actually two characters, a backslash and an N. So basically, R preceding the string, all it's doing is it's getting rid of Python special characters, and it's turning into a raw string. So we're going to look at a few examples, um, but I don't want you guys to mind the Python syntax, the uh, regular expression syntax at the moment, because I will go over all that. I just want to show you what I mean by these uh, backslashes and raw, and so you guys can get a, a good fundamental understanding. All right. So, okay, so we import re and re.search. Um, the first item is the uh, pattern that we want to search for, and the second item is the string. So first item is the pattern, and this is the string. All right. So now if we try to search, let's just try to search this. Okay. If we try to search this, we get no response. So we get uh, none. We get none as the result set. And the reason for this is because, remember, this is not two different characters. This is actually one specific special character called new line. So despite us um, trying to search one of the components of this, one of the components of this special character, we can't find it. And that's because, once again, the new line is a special character and n is a regular character. Now, if we wanted to handle this, what we can do is we can backslash the backslash. When you backslash a backslash, in this case, so we're going to, we're going to precede this backslash with the backslash, you're pretty much nullifying the... Um, the special importance of this backslash. So you're getting rid of uh, the Python's special backslash meaning. So this backslash essentially gets rid of this special backslash meaning. So what you have is just two different characters, a backslash and an n. And now we'll be able to search for n because um, instead of dealing with the special character, we're just dealing with the backslash and the n. Okay, so if you run this, uh, as you can see, we get an output. Yeah, so don't worry about the uh, match object at the moment. We'll go over everything later. Now, say you have tons of new lines or special characters. To do this to all of them would take a very long time. You would have to put a backslash for each backslash to turn it into a raw, raw string, and that will take a very long time. So the best way to do this is you can precede this whole string with an R, with the character R, and this essentially turns everything into a raw string, and it gets rid of uh, Python's special backslash meaning. So let me just run this, and as you can see, we'll find we'll find a match. So we didn't find a match here in this third cell, but we'll find a match here. And that's exactly what the raw string does. It just gets rid of the Python's uh, backslash special meaning. 
Now, um, there are some nuances that you should be aware of. Um, remember, regular expression also has its own special characters. So just as Python has its own special characters, this uh, backslash n means new line, uh, regular expressions also has its special uh, characters or meta characters. So when you use a, a regular expression, right? So this is a, considered a regular expression pattern. For a regular expression, a backslash n or a raw string backslash n always means new line. That's not the case with the string. So remember, this portion is the string and this portion is the regular expression pattern. So here, now we're going to add a backslash n. So this backslash n always means a new line when dealing with regular expressions. Remember, this portion is a regular expression and this portion is the string. So back, backslash n when dealing with a regular expression uh, always means a new line. So even if I convert this into a raw string, it's always going to mean a new line because regular expressions also has certain uh, meta characters or certain uh, special characters that uh, the raw string doesn't apply to. So let me just show you what I mean. Okay, so in this case, so both the regular expression is a new line as well as the uh, Python string is full of new lines. So this should be no problem. We should be able to pull out a new line. Okay, so we get a match, a uh, new line. Now, if I convert this into a raw string, uh, and I'll leave this as it is, this also works because converting a regular expression into a raw string uh, doesn't affect some of these meta characters. So in this case, a regular uh, converting this uh, new line into a raw string doesn't change the new line, doesn't change the affect the uh, new line character. So when, if I put an R here, we'll convert this into a raw string. Applying an R to a uh, regular expression doesn't really affect it. So in this case, uh, a raw string with a new line is still a new line uh, when dealing with the regular expression. And a new line, of course, we're not applying a raw string. So this is, these are all new lines. So this is going to work. OK, so this will work. Now if I convert both, if I add a raw string to both, so this is essentially not a new line anymore. Um, this is just a backslash n backslash n because we're applying the raw string to a string. Remember, this is the string and this is the regular expression. Applying the R to a regular expression doesn't really have much an effect. So you'll see that this actually produces no results. And let me just run this. Okay. So yeah, so this produces uh, no results because of the explanation I just gave. Um, so this video, actually, I'm going to cut it short here, and in the next video, we'll actually go into some of the uh, methods of regular expression uh, with match and search and that sort of stuff. So I want you to just remember uh, from this video that when applying a raw string to a regular expression, it, uh, it doesn't really have much an effect to some of these uh, meta characters. Uh, something like new line isn't affected by the raw string when... Um, when dealing with regular expressions. However, when dealing with strings, applying a raw string will get rid of the special, the Python special character. So in this case, the backslash will lose its meaning. So this is something you have to be careful of, uh, just be aware of. Um, I'm not sure if there are exceptions or, you know, these are just a couple of nuances that you have to memorize, but uh, just be aware of that. This might break your code. So yeah, so the next video, we will go over the, um, some of the methods. All right. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.